All right, Jim, I'm gonna make you a nice little video here. So you can see it without really seeing it. Um, this is the road trek I was telling you about, the 06 Adventurous 22 RS. It's um, 22 feet. You can kind of see, I'm gonna back up a little bit, you can kind of see it's not the large at all. Pretty much travel around anywhere you can drive a van. Um, you can see up on the top there, it's got an air conditioning, a max air vent cover, and a uh, antenna for the TV inside. This is on a 2500 chassis. This was back when uh, Mercedes-Benz and Dodge were kind of all the same. So it is a Mercedes-Benz, but it's got the Dodge emblem on the front. I kind of prepared a few things out here for you so you can kind of see a couple things. Um, it's got an electric awning um, and it just, thank you golf cart for driving by. Um, awning just goes uh, straight out, or it's manual, not electric, I'm sorry. But uh, it just shoots straight out. There's no bars to get in the way or anything like that. Um, obviously it's got the big um, side door. Fire extinguisher. I got both the back doors open. Kind of see what it looks like from back here. It does have a, a backup camera. Also has a tow hitch. You might not need to tow anything, or you might. It's there. That pipe right there is the exhaust for the generator. These vents are going to be the back of the fridge. If you ever had to do maintenance, you can do it from the outside of the coach. And that's the back of your water heater. And that would be the back of your furnace. Um, if you guys are dry camping somewhere and it gets a little chilly, which it might up in PA, um, you can turn your propane uh, furnace on, keep the coach warm. Let's take a look inside though. You'll find how nice this thing is. Um, Of course, you got your driver's seat. I mean, it's it's pretty much like a car inside here. Um, it's got a real nice um, CD player uh, navigation system included. Um, actually, where did I put the keys at? Oh, they're in my pocket. We'll fire it up. Fires right up. Check this out. This is high tech back in 06, man. See, back in 2006, if you had something that did that, that was bad. And it's actually touchscreen. And whoever had this before had a, a CB radio. I don't really know how practical that is. I've never understood the CB radio, but it's got it. Um, this curtain right here at nighttime will follow all the way across this track and give you complete uh, complete privacy. You got a couple little spotlights up here, kind of angle around wherever you need them to go. And you can see the mileage on the coach right there. It's like five four zero eight one. So 54,000 miles on it. The passenger seat, the driver's seat, and both your pilot's chairs all swivel. The pilot's chairs do not come off. I already checked that. They don't really come off of there, but they swivel around and everything. And then you'll see this hole right here in the ground. Um, what that's for is you can put a post there. And then right here on the side, you've got a table that locks in. These little arms all flip out to make it a little bit bigger. And you can actually sit, four people, sit at a table, play cards, drink beers, have a nice dinner, whatever you guys decide to do. So this coach is very, very practical for four people, even though I know it's just going to be the two of you guys, you said. Um, I'm going to go look a little bit farther back here. Um, that's where you would uh, turn your uh, generator on. In the lower left-hand corner, you got an inverter, inverter which will uh, keep the batteries charged up. Um, this right here is going to be your uh, holding tanks, um, LP, fresh gallon, um, and then your gray. 
this will actually read uh, when you have stuff in there it'll tell you how full it is it'll tell you if your propane's low um, basically your holding tank is your black water tank that means it'll tell you how much poo poo you have in there basically I shouldn't have said that that's not very professional um, I'll show you the rest of this coach I got a lot of the cabinets open just so you can kind of see how much storage is in here um, for two people I would say it's plenty it goes all the way back there you got a Sony uh, DVD player in here already. I'm sure the prior person uh, installed that himself. You do have one more cabinet here I couldn't open. Nice deep storage in that one as well. I don't know how many pairs of shoes the uh, girlfriend has, but I'm sure she could load it up pretty good. Sitting back here on the coach. That's kind of one bed slash couch slash sitting area. Um, this will turn into a larger couch, I believe. And then right down there are the uh, posts for the uh, for the chair or for the table. This TV is on a swivel. I think that's that's about as far as it goes. But if you guys wanted to sit in the chairs up front there, watch the TV, you could do that kind of see there's a nice latch right back there so this will lock nice and secure when you guys are driving around it won't be swinging around or anything like that of course you got a two burner suburban stove evidently somebody has secretly placed a manual in there got a one door fridge this will work off of a gas or electricity. If you're plugged in, it won't even use the gas. Um, and then this right here actually locks it so it can't open up. And you got some nice drawers here. Store a little bit of uh, food. Maybe some spices. Nice drawer here for some storage. Another drawer there. Hey, there's our remotes. All kinds of remotes and manuals and stuff and then you got a uh, convection microwave here no oven in this coach you got a stovetop a microwave and that's actually a convection oven as well so we're gonna close these up hey look at that handsome guy he does not come with a coach this is a big thing in 2006 the coffee maker that was an option they should probably, in newer coaches, put um, places to install Keurigs. That would be the new thing. But, uh, hey, it's an 06. You got a little bit of wardrobe space over here, I believe. Yep. Wardrobe. And it looks like, yeah, this actually slides out. You can line your clothes up on there. Slide them in. And then you got your uh, AC system. You can basically set it on how cold or cool you want it there. Um, same thing over here. Now I'm going to show you the wet bath. Basically unscrew this a little bit, lift your latch up. And you can see the bathroom. Got a little storage here, put your soap or something like that in. Uh, probably a latch down here. Yeah. That is basically your wet bath. And when you get it, it will be detailed and clean. Um, Right here you got a little vent fan to get some of that humidity out of there. There's your uh, shower right there. All hooks up to the back of the uh, back of the sink. So this will clean you off, man. And of course there's a toilet. This will definitely uh, spruce you guys up. Like I said, it's not like you're uh, staying at the Hyatt in here. She can even plug in her hair dryer if she needs to. There we go. Lock that back and then you really just screw this pin in. Keep those doors tight from swinging open while you're driving. And that's pretty much this road trek, man. You can kind of see all the windows, lots and lots of daylight can be coming in if you're parked up next to a, you know, a little uh, pond or lake or something like that. I mean, you can Got three big windows, two in the back here. 
It's just a nice coach, man. I sent you that link. Um, that's how you open the windows here. I sent you that link to Road Trek, so you can kind of do a little bit of research on it if you needed to. But uh, I'll tell you what, man. Road Trek makes about the best Class B you can buy. Pleasure Way is another good one that we do sell here new. But if you're looking to get into something and not, uh, you know, you're not really sure you're going to dig, um, I would definitely suggest something like this. Um, when we sell a coach here, it gets a full PDI. That means that from the day the customer goes, hey, I like this one, I'll take it. Um, we don't just uh, toss them the keys. Uh, we actually put it back into our service bay. We have about 200 service bays here. And we put it back into a service bay for about two or three days. And it gets a complete inspection of everything, electrical, mechanical, and we fix it. We don't just give you a list of uh, things that we found don't work. Um, we actually go through the whole coach and basically fix anything that needs fixed. And we make sure when we give it to you that it works perfect. Um, the only thing we don't do is anything uh, cosmetic. You know, if there was like a scratch in the shelf or, you know, a scratch in the paint or anything like that, which I've walked around this thing, there's no body damage, no scratches or anything like that. So this would basically be in our service bay for a couple days. And if you decided that you liked it and you wanted to roll with this one, um, you could be out of here in a couple days, man, in no time. But, uh, I wanted to make you a video. Pictures only do it. I'm half justice. So I figured a video would be a good way to do it. Um, I'm going to upload this and stick it on my YouTube channel. And uh, let me know what you think. Thank you, sir.